can create anything in ZBrush. Uh, so let's pick an object. Uh, a baseball bat. Okay. Uh, Q mesh, or uh, sorry, data mesh. Um, let's make this the easy way. Shadow box. Doesn't matter too much about the resolution right now. Okay. Clear that mask. Now I want to start with the bottom, so I'm going to turn off perspective. Now I'm going to open my internet browser and I have two resources Pixabay and Pixels. These are websites I can get free images to make things. So baseball bat okay ooh I can make a baseball too um, I need a nice picture oh there we go nope that's not it let's try uh, Pixabay baseball bat Okay, that that's more like it. Um, here we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Free vector graphic. No, I don't need. I don't need that. Let's just download uh, big image. Open with Adobe Photoshop. Even better. Make things easy. Okay. Just I'm opening this up in Photoshop just so I can rotate it around easily. Okay. Control. Wait. Yeah. Control T. And move this vertical. Okay. Good. Now let's Alt Tab back to ZBrush and see through just a little bit. Okay. Good. Now. Yes. Okay, now control, click and drag, just this area. Oh, control Z, I don't want symmetry on right now. Okay. I am just selecting the areas of my baseball bat creating a simple mask. Okay, then come in here with a small brush and just fill in some areas. Okay, let's turn shadow box off. Here is my rough baseball bat. Okay, now I'm going to select this area and let's see I could hmm I'm gonna go to bleh, I'm gonna go to sub tool extract and initially see what that's like um, ooh, I'm gonna zoom in and fix this mask so it's not so crazy good now do that again and then press o or accept. Now I've got the base B I N X and local symmetry so I'm around the object that I'm working on and then transform X or sorry turn on Y turn off X and turn on radial and let's lower our Z intensity. Okay, that's pretty good. Then go over to Geometry and turn on Dynamesh. Smooth things out. Do that a few times. Okay. I want it smooth up here and then out at the bottom. 
good. Okay. Wait. I think I need to turn this up. 256, enter. Shift, smooth that out a little bit. Okay. 256, 512, wait, 5, wait, 512, enter, shift, let's uh, decrease that a little bit, now Z remesh, now I've got hmm, a little bit more geometry, okay, good, there's my base, now let's alt with the move tool, alt and left click to select the right subtool. Now, I want to, uh, let's do 128, enter, shift, make sure it doesn't have any Z intensity, and click and drag on the mesh, just so I can adjust. Okay, let's see, uh, I'm gonna do 512, just so I can get more uh, geometry. Okay, 550, uh, sorry, 56,000. I like that. Now let's smooth things out a little bit with a Y um, symmetry on. Okay, and local is activated right now. I like activated just so things line up. Right now it's not center, so if we local symmetry, it'll make things line up rather nice with our object. Now let's smooth out. Good. That's nice. Okay, now this area looks a little weird, so I'm going to adjust it. A BMV Local uh, symmetry is on right now, so I can alter this in any way I want and dynamesh it as much as I want. Right. And smooth things out when needed. Dynamesh. Okay, I think that looks a little better. Uh, I'm going to go to deformation and s uh, decrease the size all around and move this around. Turning symmetry off, by our, and um, the mirroring by pressing X, just so we can move this around to where it needs to go. Okay, that looks good. Now just size it up just a little bit. Okay. Now, let's make a baseball bat. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, move is still selected, so alt, left click to select the other subtool. Now, BCB, transform, uh, local symmetry is on, so that is good. Now, I want to smooth this out a little bit so it's more circular. So, oh. Control Z, way too much Z intensity. Let's turn that down to 1% and just draw out and hold down Alt. Oh, I'm sorry, I've, I've got the wrong. I'm going to try BIN for inflate and smooth things out occasionally. Yikes. Okay. 
what this is doing right now is it's pulling and pushing in all directions at the same time which will give me a much more circular look that in combination with uh, smoothing out as much as possible will give me a nice bat shape good BCB trying to get the a nice bat look okay and alt right here just to get rid of that little area BIN Okay, Dynamesh, smooth out, and now it is looking more circular, which is a good thing. Smooth, I'm going to increase the Z intensity on the regular smooth as much as I can. Okay. Shift to frame, then. Now it's way too thick in all directions, so BCB. Let's see if this helps. Then Alt and move in. Then BFA for the inflate brush, I'm going to decrease the intensity to this to 1%, and this will, control Z, make things look much more smooth. BCB, just to inflate and smooth out. Okay, that is a nice bat shape. Okay, Dynamesh, 76,000. Good. Yeah, I like it. Let's move this over just a little bit. Turning symmetry off. Okay. Dynamesh, we're in move right now, so hold down Alt and left click, and click and drag to Dynamesh that. Shift F to see what the polys look like. That is pretty crazy. So what I'm gonna do is go to Geometry, Z Remesh, about the same. No wait, hold on, let's go to half. Okay, I've got an idea. Okay, 9000, all the polys look smooth, everything is organized and neat. We're in move mode, so that is done. Now Alt, left click on this, and the UVs are messed up with this as well, so let's do about half on this. Z remesh, and while that's thinking, it should clear everything up just like the uh, portion below that was all neat and organized, and then we can get to the real magic of this video making a bat. Okay, nice, that looks good. Now, I want to do two things first so um, Z plugin, UV Master, okay, uh, no poly groups don't really matter, doesn't really matter too much if it's symmetrical, 
So let's unwrap that. I'm trying to make UVs for both the top and the bottom just so I could export this to Unreal Engine 4 if I wanted to. Okay, that's done. Then we come down to Texture Map, Create, New from Polypaint, and that is the shape of our map, or our bat, flattened out. Okay, so that section is done. Then Alt and left click on this to select that portion. And we can't do anything yet because we haven't created UVs with the UV Master. So Z plugin, UV Master, no symmetry, doesn't matter. Um, and unwrap. Unwrapping at this stage is easy because we are working with small models that don't have a lot of crazy geometry and places to worry about for the UV map and it's simple and circular so now that we've done that we can go to texture map new from polypaint now this is our lower section and now we are ready so close that and then let's go to our bat right there now let's F to frame and then shift F to hide the UVs and go to texture and we're going to be using a uh, spotlight but let's see this might work um, but I'm gonna go to our website and see what um, that texture see what this pulls up no that didn't work uh, let's try the other website Baseball bat texture. If that doesn't work, I'll probably shoot for. Ooh, that's nice. I like those results. I'm gonna use this one, and then probably use this for a little. I'm gonna save both of these images. So this is pixels. So click on that. Free download. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah, I'll be able to make all the uh, crazy. Uh, knots in the bat with this texture. Right click, save image as. Pexels, it's already there. Okay, saving. Oh, I've already saved it. That's funny. Okay, I've got that texture, and I've already got the other texture. Right there. So I guess I don't need to. But I got those images from Pexels if you are interested. Okay, let's go back to ZBrush. Now, texture, import. Mega scans, uh, pixels. Wait a minute. Uh, textures. Oh man, I'm so lazy. I don't want to go back to see what that was in or what I saved that in. Save as. Okay, let's save this location. Oh. E mega scans pixels. Okay, that's easy. Okay, back to ZBrush. Texture, import. Okay, my computer. This PC. E pixels. Um, wait, is it mega scans? Pixels. Oh man. Um, textures. Let's see. Um, I'm going to save as, go back a frame, pixels, open a new window. Okay. So, what image are these saved as? JPEG. That's easy. Then ZBrush over here. Okay, then texture, import, e copy, mega scans pixels. I I was in the wrong folder still. <laughs> pixels, no. What's going on? PSD. Let's try JPEG. Oh, 
Okay, I'm having issues with the texture that I just downloaded. JPEG, I'm not sure why. Um, open. Um, ZBrush. Let's, I'm going to open up those images in Photoshop. Photoshop. Yep. Okay, open that. Okay, and then I'm going to save this as PNG just for the heck of it. PNG, okay, good. Save. Saving 71%. Okay, that's done. And then. Pixels, okay, that, and then this one. Let's open this in Photoshop. Okay, and then let's save this as PNG in the same location. PNG. Now, I'm really sure ZBrush is um, pretty comfortable with uh, PNG, so. Let's minimize that and go back to ZBrush, then Texture, Import, Pixels, okay, here they are. Let's open up this one and import this one. Now first we're going to use this, so let's add this to Spotlight. Totally awesome. Okay, let's see. Z. Spotlight radius. Okay. That is what I'm going to be painting on. So, BCB. No Z add. RGB. And... Oh, it's not showing up right now because my texture map is on. I was going to turn that off and see what it looks like now. Okay, that's good. But the detail is not good enough. So what I want to do, I have UV mastered this piece of geometry. So I want to divide at 2 million plus 2.2 2. 2 million. Let's... Um, New from polypaint. Okay. Wait, wait. Um, unwrap. Requires you to be at the least. Okay, so geometry. Lowest subdivision level. Unwrap. Okay. I want this bat to look nice. Okay, then at the highest subdivision level, let's go back down to texture map and new from polypaint. Now let's press Z and shrink this. Okay, that looks good. Now let's move to the side. Oh, I'm not seeing anything right now because the texture map is on. Okay, good. Nice high resolution. Just about what I wanted. Okay, move that around. Okay, then move good move this around okay then the back side Z 
easy. Okay. Almost done. Okay, that's done. Sweet, my bat right here is good. Wait, I see some seams. I'm going to shrink the draw size. And move that up as I go. Not so high. Okay, move around. Z right over the top. Now I want to adjust this and my focal. Let's move this all the way up. and decrease my RGB intensity so I get a nice smooth effect. Good. Now I want to move down to my lower section and just like before let's control D a few times. then new from polypaint, turn that one off, press Z, okay, increase the draw size, then move around. Ooh, I've got an idea. Okay. Z. Okay, so our bat is looking nice. Um, 
I'm going to turn down the opacity spotlight radius okay so Z let's move this all the way down here nice okay now I'm going to focus on the next texture let's turn the, the opacity all the way back up and move to this texture okay add that to spotlight now things are gonna get fun okay I want these cracks inside my bat Ooh, that's kinda nice but I want to rotate a little bit and move it around yeah, I think that would look good. And now my draw size is fairly small, so I don't have to uh, worry too much. But my Z RGB, I'm going to turn that all the way up just so I can see what I'm doing. Wait. Oh, <laughs> I'm on the wrong subtool. Um, we'll work on this one first. Okay, Z. Move that right there. Rotate it. Ooh, actually that looks fairly nice. Yeah, right there. Okay, so near the top, let's... Just draw that in. Wait, control Z. Okay, um, I want this to be even smaller. Okay. Okay, and then just rotate it around and let's draw out some more. Z to rearrange things and move things okay I like this right about there okay okay Z let's move things around Rotate. I like the up and down cracks. So now let's try this at fifty percent RGB. Wait. Yeah, fifty percent. and just barely rough those in. Pretty cool. A little scratches right there. Awesome. I'm having fun. Right there. Okay, now let's move on to the bigger bat. So, select the move button, hold down, oh wait, sorry, I'm going to turn the uh, spotlight off, so shift Z, then alt left click to select the correct subtool, okay, good, now shift Z to turn that back on, and Z to rearrange it, I like some of these, so let's, uh oh, control Z, Oh, I, I didn't even, I didn't even have draw selected, or, yeah. Now paint some of those scratches on here. Okay.
Ooh, I've got an idea. Watch this. Same texture, different location. Yeah. Nice. I'm making my own scratches. Okay. Okay. This is fun. A few right here. Good. Over here. Okay, I like this one. Hmm. I'm noticing some um, s issues right here, so I'm going to fix this texture. Let's shift to isolate that view and then texture, select that one and turn that spotlight off, turn it back on. Okay, now let's fix some of those areas. Control Z, I need the draw size a little bigger. Okay, that's good enough. Control Z, Z, and move that to a lighter area. Turn down the RGB intensity a little bit more. So cool. You can have so much fun with Spotlight. Ooh, that, that's problematic. I'm going to get to a lighter area and just draw that out. Same with these areas. Okay, good. Oh, problems right here too. Um, let's just paint those out. Okay, I think that's good. Now I'm just going to finish up with a few extra scratches with a brand new texture. I'm excited. Let's see what we can get. Um, let's specifically search for scratch scratches. Um, maybe not. Scratches looking Ooh, those are nice. Ooh, I like these. I like these. Let's save this image and maybe I could adjust the hue so it looks more wooden and then these will fit in real nice. Okay, so download Pixel Pixabay 50, 540, 5472 by 3080. Let's view that and then download that. Pretty cool. I'm excited. Save as. Oh, it's in Pixabay, so it remembers where it is. Okay, that's good. Background, whatever. Saving. Okay. Let's go to Texture, Import, Mega Scans, Pixabay, and look for that blue. Yeah, right here. Open that one. Look how fast and easy that was. Texture. Uh, select that texture. Load that. Cool. Now let's let's quick save this real quick, just in case this messes up, and adjust the hue. Uh, that's good. Okay. That's the hue. Now let's move this. Oh. 
Um, yeah, move. Move it into position. Nope, turn symmetry off. Ooh, there's a good one. Let's... Yeah, I want to paint that on here. So, Z... Sweet, but it's too big, so let's scale that down. Right, right there. Okay, now it's really tiny, so... I'm just going to paint in that. Oh, wicked. I like it. Now, let's move around. And let's see where else I can place this. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. That looks like a bat would have that. Cool. Okay, one, one more. Right there. Sweet. Okay, we're done. Now, what I can do... That's pretty cool. That's a baseball bat. Just inside ZBrush. Anyone can do the same thing. Uh, using spotlight, uh, spotlight like I've been doing is really powerful. You can use any image or texture you want to in the world. And you can make anything you want to. Including one more time, one more design, or one more texture. Um, I'm having fun. Uh, paint. Okay, let's see what paint we can get. Um, paint. Uh, yeah, this looks nice. Let's use this. Apple. Free download, big image, view. This is the last thing, and then I'm using this eventually for Unreal Engine 4, so I was going to use some of these shiny edges on the corners of my texture. Save that in Pixabay. Saved. Minimize. Texture. Import. Pixabay, and then find the apple. There it is. Open that. Add that to Spotlight. Pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm. S I still have the upper bat area selected, which is what I want. So move this around and Z. Let's see. Where do I want the up up here? Right. That would be cool. So. Good. And then just move it around. And see what this looks like. It's at a really low RGB intensity, so I can just... See what that looks like. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Let's decrease it a little bit more. And just barely... Wait. Maybe I want more of the red. Okay. Ooh, and then like little scratches. Kind of like these things. So decrease my RGB. And increase, or, yeah, sorry, uh, decrease my draw size and then increase my RGB. Control Z, that looks like it's too big. Alright. Um, move it around right there. Z just to see. Uh, let's move it a little bit. Okay, good. Ooh, 
Ooh, I've got an idea. Let's use some alphas. So... And then change the stroke type to drag rectangle. Let's try and change this to spray. Z, okay, that's in the right area. Uh, okay, Z. Now let's adjust the... Not smudge. Um, contrast? Yeah. Okay. See what that does. Sweet. Okay. I am almost done. And shift Z. I am done. There is my baseball bat for Unreal Engine 4. Right on. Quick and easy. If anybody liked this video, wants to see more, please uh, comment below and tell me what you want to see me create. And uh, thumbs up, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, everybody.